This is a game that is aggressively ugly. Like, it wants to be unpleasant to look at. But that siren... It wants to make you suffer in every way imaginable. And it's about time we allowed it. It's been a few days since I last played it, and I missed it. Already. You get hooked on this game. Which is the worst state you can possibly be in. There was... Something I wanted to see. We got... A medical... Record from 27 years ago. Diagnostic records from the Miata Clinic. Only the year 1976 can be made out. The rest is illegible. And that's all they're gonna tell me. Really? That didn't help. Okay. We learned that the Miata Clinic was open in 1976. Maybe that's the only time it was open. Like, those were modern records for the sake of uh, Shiro Miata. Maybe that's the reveal of it. You've seen this. There's the earthquake that kills uh, Temon Takauchi's family. It immediately turns him into a jaded badass. By immediately, I mean decades later. <gasps> I told you not to drink from there. I hope you stayed here like I told you. Listen. They didn't attack for no reason. Somebody is controlling them. We have to stop whoever's behind all this madness. From now on, don't listen to what anybody else says, okay? Just do as I tell you to do. Promise me. Don't I always do what you tell me to do? I think we should hurry up and try to get help before we do anything else. It's coming after us. We can't be safe here. Come on. Let's go. Another fresh mission. They're not sending us into second objectives yet. They probably will soon. And we're prepared. I have my instruction manual open. Now we just gotta get rid of this Shibito brain. By first getting some bullets. Bubbles with grotesque red water reminiscent of Elizabeth Bathory's Bath of Blood. The arguably apocryphal blood bath. Now, this might have been the mission I was thinking of when I remembered. No? No, I guess it was the Shiro mission I was thinking of when I remember this game being really, really difficult the first time I rented it. It was definitely in that level that I suffered for the longest and most severely. Hey, this guy's a little... Above it all. Looking down on the patrol car. This is a thing I did not remember about the game when I originally played it. So I guess I never got this far. How? How is there someone right here? I guess that's you. Come with me. When I inevitably die, you're dying with me. At least it'll keep your sight jack from scaring the hell out of me, like it always does. Didn't 
like that squeak sound. It's always hard to tell what's ambience, what's monsters, and what's soundtrack. Do I have bullets? I got some bullets. And yeah, this one's looking a little unlike your average Shibito. It's got snail eyes on stalks. That's just a thing we're gonna have to get used to. Because the Shibito are turning into bugs. Like I said, this is not a thing that I knew about Siren until I saw Super Great Friends Let's Play. Years and years after the game initially came out. I never even knew this was a bug game. And I still loved it. And we got snipers. Okay, he was up in the path past the patrol car, I think. But uh, there's a lot of heat down that way. So where is the best spot for ammo, you think? Probably not the shrine, but maybe. Patrol car seems like a fantastic choice. But getting there is probably going to cost a lot of ammo. And I want to say Tamon might be able to break the lock on the small shrine. Which is something we were trying to do earlier as K. It tells you who you're, like, helping when you unlock a second objective, and, uh... I never pay attention to who I'm helping. But it's a second objective, so we don't need to worry about it right now. We just gotta worry about the first objective. Right around here should be where the shrine is, yeah. I forgot to bring her with me, again. This thing's locked. We have the combo. And we're not even allowed to brute force it. Also, apparently not allowed through the door. Oh wait, never mind. We sure are. And it's you again. Come on in. It's a fantastic place to die. Neglect has caused us to become decrepit. Nothing here looks like it'd be particularly useful. But something is visible through a crack in the floor. Not from where I'm standing. All right, pressure sensitive buttons. I can see better if I release the button slightly. Good thing I'm playing this on a legitimate PS2 controller so that I can just give myself motion sickness. I still don't see the crack in the floor, whether I'm zoomed in or not. Oh, whatever. Um, let's lock this guy in. I think because he's a spider shibito, he literally cannot get out of there ever again. Giving us free reign of the area. Pretty sure it's only bipedal Chibito that can travel freely throughout the area. Professor Takeuchi, I've been waiting for ages. What were you doing? You don't want to know what I was doing. So if I recall correctly, we had 11 shots coming in here. I spent two. That's another spider Chibito.
No one's facing our direction, which makes it very, very hard to get your bearings. I know the geography of this level, but not well enough. Just sort of say where everyone is. I'm playing GeoGuessr here. I think that's the guy inside the shrine for the rest of his life. There's the flyer. Now, who had the gun? Did the flyer have the gun? No, this guy had the gun. On the other side of the patrol car. I remember that much. So... That means if we take the low road... We should only see Spider Shibito. And then at some point we'll find the brain. And then when we kill the brain, we can go past the patrol car. No, wait. Killing the brain is the goal. So when we kill the brain, we just win. So whereabouts might the brain be? Are you the brain? Not the brain. Can't run away. This is our destiny. Where the hell is my student? You promised you would do whatever I told you. You know what? I don't think she is even related to the end goal of this level. So wherever she is, she can stay there. And I don't think it'll matter. Broken bridge. The water does look especially gloopy and dark here in the nighttime mission. Normally it looks very viscous, very much like water that just happens to be a little bit red. Perhaps this was the brain. had a gun, but no ammo, apparently. That was not the brain, because everyone else is still standing. The crawler's headed somewhere in a hurry. Guess we just don't care about the patrol car. I'm getting in. Drive it to safety. There's something. Take bullets. Hell yeah. I still don't have a good sense of where the Shibito brain is. But I got what I wanted. And is there any further information on these bullets? Nope, there's just a lot of them. Whole hell of a lot of them. So, who's going to be the brain? That sounds different. Now, this also sounds different. Okay, this sounds brainy. I had to guess this would be the brain, and it's by the small shrine, which is way up ahead of me. To get there, I had to survive this guy. I have not seen this guy turn once. I feel like if I set foot out there, it's going to kill me. But if I stay back here, something's going to kill me, so... Oh, you're... You're fine. Yeah, I guess it was just the fly that killed me last time.
And now we're an action hero. Killing spiders all up and down this path. What have we here? Old magazine. Premier issue of Atlantis. Now that's the thing that appears in every single game in the franchise. Atlantis magazine, the cryptid magazine. I can get a good shot of the giant pelvis. Hello, giant pelvis. Yeah, that's creepy. Let's try and center it. For thumbnail purposes. That is a terrible baby doll sprite up there. Items washed up from the river appear to be worshipped here as sacred objects. Ah, Taman Takayuchi's research notes. Glad I stopped by. They didn't know what the hell this crap was. But yeah, there's good reason to worship that. That is unnatural. Perhaps marks a higher step in human evolution. Now, hopefully the brain doesn't have a way to defend itself. As if it's a, if it's a sitting duck, as I suspect. I should be able to just kill it. That's interesting. Someone has already looted the shrine. Who saw me? Don't make me attack the darkness. I'll do it. Hmm. So that thing might be running away from me. As I pose a threat. I hate to have to chase it around the level, but what can you do? I legitimately have no idea where my student ended up. There she is. Right at the worst possible time. Get over here. Get back in your starting point. Were you chasing the brain? See any brains go by here? Okay, brain ought to be up here. Scared away as soon as I approach. That ought to do it. Mission accomplished. Good stuff. Eventually. Bad stuff for a long time, and then good stuff. Second objective time for Tamon. Whose name I pronounce differently every single time it comes up. Professor? What is this place? Where are we? I this is the first one it. with Tamon, I think? What's going on? I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. Imagine if she had waited in the car. Just sitting in the car while we spend three entire days wandering around this abandoned village full of zombies. She'd probably have died from the zombies. Listen to in-school announcement while on top of Fire Tower. So, I'm and get to the opposite to bank. Concentrate. Hmm. So let's define what a fire tower is first. There it is. 
Now I know what this means. We're going to find out about the concept of the school. What am I hearing now? Radio on the shelf. A Silent Hill radio exists in Siren. And I can take it with me. An old album. Surprisingly, I legitimately don't care about it, even though it is the only thing in the area with any color on it. See, I remember being able to climb up onto the rooftops of these buildings. Get around that way. Because I have no idea how to get to the... ...fire tower. Without getting shot a million times. I'm sick of getting perforated here. Let's see. So if we go up... Then we can go around... Maybe get past one sniper that way. This building here, anything? It's not labeled on the map, so it's probably unimportant. And this game, notably made by the same team that made the original Silent Hill. If anyone has earned the right to put a Silent Hill radio in their game, it's them. I don't want to check what appears to be a calendar, unfortunately. I think that's a guy with a gun, but I have no business bothering him anyway. Okay, there's a problem. How did I get back to Yoriko? Did I just cross the bridge backwards? Am I that much of a jackass? I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I do wish there was a secret dog ending for this game. And that James Sunderland had a surprise cameo. Well, we can cross the bridge one way, but we can't cross it back. Honestly, I might be overthinking this. So, Let's find out. Watch the sniper. And I'll see if I can... get past the area that he monitors. Because he does look away frequently. He's gonna look back very quickly because he's so alerted, but... Make a run for it. I now have visual cover. This is where I was last time, and that... is the fire tower. I have no idea who exactly just saw me. Oh, it's you. If you don't bother me, you've only got a knife. The guy with the gun is not approaching. And he, yeah, swerves back and forth, thinks of himself as a light tower. 
lighthouse, some would call it. Okay, now I'm gonna start getting shot. Maybe. Been spotted so many times, something's gonna kill me. There we go. I think I cracked this. Bucket floating on the surface of the dark red water. Though the rope is old, you can still pull up the pail. Let's. The radio does something, and I think it's for a different mission than this. Huh? What the? It's a bit of a cheap jump scare for Siren. But hey, they've got a little something for everyone. So while I'm here and I'm completely out of ideas... Let's just explore, get the Silent Hill radio again. Should be right here, yep. Check it in the inventory, see if it comes with any hints. Only receive static. We knew that. Now we gotta go back down and around. Not there, that's impenetrable. Okay, the bridge is bad. This is also bad. How did I get up here? Okay, there's the well that I dredged up. We're sort of on the right track. Put radio in bucket. Why? There's a grotesque idol on the ground. Yeah, that came up from the bottom of the well. There it is. Check it out. Looks like a mermaid. Now, why on earth is the radio in the well? The sniper can't hear it, so that doesn't matter. No one seems to care about the radio in the well. That's interesting. It's like he's looking down the well. Yeah. He must know. Rank time. And... How do we do the prank? <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. I set it all up. Ooh, do I unequip the gun? Ah! 
I set this all up. But no one fell for it. I feel cheated. We should have turned into a better radio station. Play some uh, Bermuda 3. I think that was their name. Siren Blood Curse. And they did have a song that legitimately whipped ass. If we were playing Bermuda 3 right now, I'd hop down the well. That's good stuff. So literally the only thing I haven't tried is shooting this guy in the back while he's looking down the well. That fulfilled the secondary objective. Not the primary objective. So I still don't know how to climb the fire tower. Well, let's continue looking for a way to get high elevation. Adequate to reach eye level with the sniper without getting killed by the sniper in the process. That's not helping me. Sometimes we can climb things like this. Yeah, that's something. This might have been it all along. Because, yeah, this building... ...perfectly adjacent... Yeah. ...to the sniper's roost. You said it, Tamon. Yep. Well, that was violence. Sniper's dead. I don't like the look of this, though. And okay, that was all my shots. And yeah, it's just literally impossible to climb the tower while the sniper yet lives. The well absolutely does not stay solved, so I will have to come back and do that at some point. But I'm done with this area. It takes too long to do the well. Freedom. Sweet freedom. And on to, if I'm not mistaken, a much harder mission. No, Mrs. Takato. Not necessarily where things get really hard. Mrs. Takato, I'm scared. Where is everybody? It's okay. The principal will save us. He won't be long now. But until then, we have to keep going, okay? <laughs> Nothing much to worry about here. School is just infested with zombies. Need to get Arumi out of there. So, first floor, faculty room. We now have multi-level 
areas to get through. Know how to rotate the levels. There we go. So we're on the second floor. We gotta get onto the first floor. Not that far away. Yeah, the faculty room is pretty far away. So obviously the little girl is not capable of combat, meaning if she's spotted, she is dead. Purple book here. No, it's just a purple indicator of what books are on that shelf. Hey, classroom 1-2 is a bad place to be. And another classroom has zombies inside. First of all, a classroom with a little girl in it. And our responsibility to keep that girl alive. It sounds like the hammer guy is the one up here. Hammer guy is the least dangerous of the possibles you could be running into. Could set off the alarm. It's interesting. Without further information, it feels detrimental to our progress. Chibito in here. Safe spot under the desk. Conspicuous piece of paper that I'm not allowed to interact with in any way. Just ignore it. Hmm. Teacher wants to cram the kid in the closet. Don't mind if I do. Oh, here too. I guess that's mostly so that we can sort of leapfrog between rooms without getting the kid murdered. Let's get out of here. Post is more or less clear. Too small for me to hide. Obviously. Perfect fit for a kid. It's like they were made for bullying. Yeah, if we just go through these classrooms, we can sort of pop out on the other side. Never mind. Hello. <laughs> and got too close to horror me. So there we go. And nothing violent happened. Don't worry about it. He just curled up into a ball. And lost that game of tag. Tag is very important to children, so it meant a lot to her. Counts as losing the whole game. Probably just want to do exactly the same thing, but with the flashlight off. Or we can try doing something 
clever enough that the game might probably force us to do it. Let's uh, hide Harumi. And pull the fire alarm. No idea who's going to respond. But it looks like it has taken away the hammer man. Oh, we can lock doors for safety. Now, uh, hammer man's now going to turn around, right? Come back our way. That is not really what we want, although I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Because we're headed to the first floor. Dangerous bathroom somewhere. And a very dangerous hallway. Hmm. Yeah, we're not getting past that guy. He never looks away. That's the guy on the second floor who's now deeply disturbed. And I can't pick anyone else up. Had more people ready to go. Like that guy. There. This guy's perfect for reconnaissance. Oh, he's the uh, guy making the bathroom dangerous. <laughs> Got the gun, man. <laughs> Feels like we can squeeze past while he's patrolling the bathroom. Or the classroom. Yeah, he might stay in there a little while. <laughs> Unlock? Not without a key. Well, I don't want to send my humble ward into the bathroom. To be a death sentence for the both of us. Is there a key hidden somewhere upstairs, maybe? Just not getting in there right now. But once he turns around, we can go through the classroom. And hopefully the guy with the gun doesn't spot us while we're entering the classroom. If he doesn't, we're more or less all set. And if he does, we are dead. They tend to have pretty bad night vision. Like, when we look through their eyes, we can see an incredibly great distance. When it's dark out. But they tend not to be as lucky... ...as we are. I'm trying to close that door, Harumi. Just get the hell out of my way. Yeah, just slam that thing. What have you got to worry about? Recognizes the monocross. Sure, pretty much all the locals do. And something on the desk. Burned candles. Alright, 
I think it's just this guy, and he's making his patrol back through the classrooms. Got to be on the other side of the guy with the pistol. He hurt me. Let's uh, back away slowly. Lock the door. Okay, he's breaking the door down. Yep. <laughs> Could just walk right past him at this point. And go to the faculty lounge. But Harmy got shot in the face. Tragic. We're right behind the gunman. <laughs> I feel like if we just sort of sneak around here, we'll be just fine. And I thought I tried that. That's pretty fine so far. Maybe I stepped on some broken glass last time without realizing it. I'm hoping the footsteps are Harumi's. It's... I need to find some kind of tool. Mrs. Takato! Harumi! I'll look for a tool to break this. Now you stay right here, okay? I'll be right back. I promise. Okay. I'll wait for you. Oh boy, we're not done. Tool in the gymnasium, did that say? I really wish we could recall hints. Yeah, good stuff. So, lockers along the wall. Zero keys. This is where keys ought to be, I think. There's a key. I'm seeing a key. Give me that key. Mrs. Takato, what did you do? Hello! That didn't help. Okay. And now I know how to get into the gymnasium. Unlock the door. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best one. But unlocking the door is not simple. This guy's unflappable. Was there any way in the world to evade his notice? Are we simply meant to just try and run past him? That's right. Here is the closest door. Which he's looking at. And investigating? Okay. How about we unlock it? Head in, maybe. And then close it behind us. And... Okay, we can't lock it again. Uh, 
basketball. Is that our weapon of choice? I have to decide fast. That's the route to whatever supply closet we might have. Let's see. Aha! Crowbar. Perfect for prying wood off of windows. And I guess that's just the end of the mission. <laughs> Possibly another checkpoint. <gasps> ah, famous face. IG Nashatori or something. He got into the sports equipment before we could. And he had an additional key. Padlock key. We haven't seen a padlock. Opens the gymnasium door. That was locked from the inside. Now I saw a Shibito. Up top. I love that Mrs. Takato is like way tougher than the uh, the doctor. She wrecked that guy. No problem. I have a key, but I guess I don't have the right one. Ah, uh, this area again. Ah! I'm being choked. Oh no, you don't. Come too far. To maybe get choked out by you? Nope. Stabbed out. So close. Or maybe not. Maybe I would have just stepped out the door and got shot anyway. The thing is, the gunman stays perched right next to the gymnasium door. Meaning it might be possible to just pop out the door, what did you do? catch him off guard, and immediately beat the shit out of him. Even with a melee weapon, that might still work. That's what I'm hoping anyway. We'll despawn the enemies once again. That'll be fine. He's reloading. Now while he's reloading... I want to get a good sight jack on him. Because we're going to have to pay attention to his behavior so we won't have a lot of time before the principal gets back up and starts trying to kill me again. This is my plan. It's a bit tenuous. Let's see how it works out. I didn't get shot this time, so I will have more health while fighting you. Got him to actually use his bat very briefly. Good stuff. 
Now, I was spotted in the process. That's another reason I don't have a lot of time to jump the uh, gunman. We got the padlock key. We got no Shibito in sight. We got me looking the exact wrong way. Uh, why are you not unlocking this thing? Thank you. I wish I could lock it behind me. And I'm actually going to try to lock a door behind me, and I don't think it'll work. But I'm going to try. There's the gunman, and I want him not to have the backup of the patrolman. There's a problem. See, gunmen are very slow. And this is my beat the shit out of everybody plan. So far, it is a partial success. I figured I'd be able to kill the gunman. And now... I want to lock this door, but it is impossible. We have the key, but we refuse to lock it. You're going to be the death of me, Mrs. Takato. This guy, I don't actually care about. He cares about me, though. <laughs> It is impossible to avoid the hammer man. I'm just gonna run. And get him at the choke point. Uh oh. Operation beat the shit out of everyone is being pretty successful so far. Operation find wherever the hell Harvey is, less so. I'm gonna try something. See if it helps. And what I'm gonna do is sight jack Harumi as soon as uh, she sets off the alarm. By which I mean turns on the PA and calls for help. So I've got her sight jacked. Just a check. There we go. Soon as the cutscene where she calls for help goes off, I will sidejack her. She doesn't move until this exact moment, right now. She's immediately gone. Wherever she's hiding, she's there already, with no clue of where it even possibly could be. What the hell? How am I supposed to find this? It's a needle in a haystack. Please unlock the door. We have the prompt. I selected the prompt. Hello. Thanks for waiting for me. I'll see you now. You're going down too. Oh. I haven't checked here. What do you know? It's locked. Cannot be unlocked. Excuse me, I'm trying to check the bathrooms here. Ah, uh, Rumi. Ah, uh, Rumi. Ah, uh, Rumi. 
No. No stalls here, just the one. No harmony. Principal is definitely up and about now. I got the carpenter in a fantastic spot. I've got a lot of time to explore the upstairs. Hello! What happened. <laughs> Running face first into it didn't help somehow. Harm is in here. Hello. Any harm is about. There we go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's. Maybe you shouldn't have gone all the way to the far opposite corner of the entire level. We'd be closer to out of here already. Somehow the principal's lost track of us. He's regained a track of me. <laughs> Jet. Come on. What is this? I've got the high ground. Give me an advantage. It's the least I deserve at this point. Do not choke me to death. Why'd you even bring a sight to school? Gunman. That's fine. Gunman is just slightly out of sight range if we duck into this classroom. For the love of God, Harmony. Stay right by my side. Do not stray one millimeter. For ultimate safety, we crouch and we crawl. We get back to where we need to be and we get out of the school. And then we come back because I didn't find the requirements for a secondary objective in here somewhere. But for now, we're done with the school. If I don't get shot in the back of the head on my way to opening up this. Well, where's Harmony? Get over here. We have business to attend to. Mrs. Dakoto, let's get out of here. Yes, let's. Now, where do we get to go? Hopefully to a better place. The school's a bit of a notorious level. It's very, very difficult, so probably a better place. But Shiro is there, and we've been there before. Okay, it's a level with Reiko. No. Wait. Reina? Are you. You must be Dr. Miata. Whatever her name is. I'm Mina's twin. I'm Risa. Risa. Thank you for introducing yourself. I was just on my way to see her. And 
is she okay? <laughs> Where is she? So mission one is get out with her by our side. Acquire ID holder. I was looking for Mina as well. Okay. Let's go to the hospital. The ID holder. The. I mean, we've got a hint. But of course. I did not catch what uh, day and time we're on. Let's check the link navigator. Day one, seven o'clock. Okay, the hint is signal to change the position. Gather them in one place. Hmm. That's not the most helpful hint in the world. I have to begrudgingly admit that I'm a little disappointed. Anyone have any leads on ID holder? Because that's how we found the whatever it was. Isako's veil. That's an ID holder. Right there. Well. What am I supposed to do to get him away from his meal? Is that even possible? I thought this was part of a puzzle that I don't have all the parts for yet. And K has some of those parts. But what am I supposed to do about that? I can check the shed that K cracked open. See if maybe it's still open. But this is the other famous, how in the hell are you supposed to figure out this puzzle? The well is the first one. And this is the second one. Why am I not plugging in the thing? Does a different character have to plug in the thing? Okay, the piggy bank's already here. Oh my god, did Kay have to come back here? After getting the towel and then plug in the thing and leave the towel in there? Wow. So they've dropped me into a second mission that I cannot do. I'm quite confident. So that means we're just gonna have to advance the loop. <gasps> A hammer. What are you going to do with that? We're gonna kill Kay, it seems. Just get ourselves around here. Ask the sniper. We have no reason to wait. And we've somehow helped out Kay. I don't know how getting a hammer helped Kay. But whatever. Mission one accomplished again. 
Risa sees Mina. We've seen this before. We are getting stuck in that loop. But at this moment, we are stuck continuing the loop. I figured out what I need to do. Unfortunately, I can't do it until I unlock level select. I don't know how long it'll be before I unlock level select. But now we're getting the true Siren experience where you're just replaying levels you've already completed as you completed them. Nothing really changed. We are stuck in a Groundhog's Day loop. Really, every single character in Siren is living Mario's life as he is speedrun in Super Mario Odyssey. Every single day of Mario's life begins on Leap Day, exactly 6 minutes and 15 seconds before the... Uh, the strike of two o'clock and the jump forward in time. So not leap day, um, daylight savings time. Oh. Find the key that the Shibito are looking for and reach road to Janokubi Valley after defeating all the Shibito. As Naoko. Well, yeah. Now I look on with horror. In much the same way that I assume Mario does. In my weird, terrifying reading. Of the fact that he has to start every day on Daylight Savings Time. At the exact same moment. Because it's a speedrun skip. That's locked, so I cannot switch any positions there. I guess I'm going to have to move the trolley. But how am I going to move the trolley? I guess the sniper probably doesn't live down here anymore. So they're all gathered in one place, and if there's a guy with a gun down here, I'm dead. No one with a gun, but also zero trolleys. Instead of school bag. That's not going to help you. What's in the school bag? A gun? We're not in America, so probably not. Huh? A library card. It is an archive item. And an objective two. For Naoko at 2200. Weird. Ooh. What have we here? Looking like a key on the ground. Need a custodian shack. And we go in there, we find a weapon. And then we kill every single Shibito by hand. Ah, been a long day working in the mines, eh, boys? But it's quitting time. <laughs> Just heading out of here for the night. You folks have a good one. Good work out there today. Catch you tomorrow. God damn it. <laughs> Hyper dramatic death scene. This is arguably a bit of a bad position. But we've got the key. And 
now we get ourselves the ultimate weapon that will allow us to kill every single Shibito effortlessly. A gun. I guess Akira didn't take it because... Akira has a better gun. That's fine. That's less fine. Oh, with the quick turn. God damn the quick turn. Can I disable the quick turn? It's really bad. It's just a death sentence. I do love the fact that Naoko's uh, actor must have done a, uh, oh, woe is me, I'm, I'm dead face for them to put on her character model with her eyes rolled back. Okay, this is fine. We got to make sure everyone follows along like good, friendly folks. You're all invited to the party. Now, personally, I don't see the correlation between what we're doing and switching one of the train tracks. The fact that the secondary objective was unlocked by changing the tracks doesn't really add up. with the gun. Just had it our way. Kill them all. Our goal is to kill every Shibito and then leave the area. I've currently killed... Perhaps every Shibito. No, there's... That might have been it. That might have just done it. That's as fast as I can possibly think of killing every Shibito. Yep, school level's behind me, although I do have to go back to do miscellaneous garbage, and, uh... Hopefully it'll be tolerable when I do. What do we think? Mission two? No. One or more Shibito got back up. Day one, abandoned house. That's a cutscene with Miyako. Continue your next loop. I'm uh, stuck in a loop. Thank you for noticing. Where's it going to dump me now? It's a miracle. Okay. That's, that's a big moment. We don't have to worry about loops anymore. We did a lot of garbage, but now we can actually do garbage towards progress, and I'm fine with that. So we know how to do a bunch of secondary objective unlocks. And I'm going to do all of them off screen. That means we're going to go back into, what is it? 
Oh, I'm just allowed to go to this mission that I've never done before. No, I'm not. I'm allowed to see that there's a mission that I haven't done before. Anyway, we're aware of two or three additional secondary objective unlocks that I need to do. So I'm going to go do them, and then next time we play Siren, we will accomplish those secondary objectives that I will have unlocked at such time. Boy, is that a mouthful. But we made progress. We made gigantic progress. Unlocking stage select is a game changer. And the game is now changed, and we are ready to roll. So we're going to start unlocking these unattempted things and unseen videos soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Siren will return. Hopefully progress will be made.